Hi there, I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta. As always, I'm going to talk about what's going on across the Western Pacific. But first, it's that time of year where the UN climate change campaign is taking place. And I just want to talk about, you know, those warming temperatures globally real quick. Because over the last 200 years, we have seen that global temperature rise. I mean, you may have seen it personally. Look at the just from the silent to the baby booners to Gen X, just that gradual temperature change all the way up to nowadays. People being born uh, in the last 10 years are being born to a completely different atmosphere than when I was born back in the uh, 80s. And uh, a clear example, we've seen it already multiple times in the Western Pacific here in 2023, and you can't say we haven't seen it in the last 10 years, is rapid intensification with tropical systems, record-breaking sea surface temperatures in the Philippine Sea, all related to a warming climate out here. I know storms have happened before, but just the, uh, the amount of intensification we have been seeing. So, you know, this time of year, it's just one of those times where you want to take time, to reflect on this warming climate. You think about it, we're going to talk about it, and just take those steps to, you know, help... Uh, help future generations out. Let's get into today's update uh, where, you know, where every time we get an area out here in the Philippine Sea, today's another one of those times we have to keep a keen eye on it because if we do see any f sort of just little bit of development, we could see rapid intensification. Not the case this time based on all the guidance I'm watching right now. We do have this troughing out here towards the south and east of Mindanao. Uh, currently, the ECMWF does expect this to kind of wrap up just a little bit, but the key thing, it is tapping to those warm waters out here across the Philippine Sea and out there towards the Sulu Sea and even west of Palawan as well, tapping into that moisture flow. And eventually, this is all going to pull that moisture north, could bring an increase in showers from uh, southeastern Luzon, Legaspi area up there towards uh, Metro Manila. Heaviest of the rainfall, though, looks like western areas of Mindanao, and some of that could even push over towards places like Davao and eventually into Cebu as we go ahead into the end of the week into the weekend. Now we pull back the bigger picture uh, you know we're talking about the ITCZ that potential tropical low developing right there might even be a tropical depression but then back towards the north it's all about the rainy season front still impacting our friends across Japan over there towards Okinawa extending into eastern areas of China. At least our forecast for our Wednesday we go back to the Philippines showers here in Davao all thanks to that ITCZ Same with Tacloban over there towards um, Leyte uh, Cebu 29 it's a little bit cooler where you are getting the rain look forward towards the north though it's still partly cloudy in the Manila 31 degrees here on a Wednesday I don't really expect much in the form of rain it does show couple drops but uh, generally speaking it's gonna be drier with the still westerly winds kicking up into the mountains across region one could bring some scattered showers I think for the immediate coastal areas if you want to maybe head out to La Union check out some of the surf you're gonna be generally dry a few drops still possible into the Cagayan Valley you know the farmers boy going back to the climate change aspect of things uh, I talk in and I work with some of the farmers out here um, they are the first to tell you that things are just unusual the last uh, 10 years or so it's just with that change in climate and it's yeah it's very noticeable and it, it really just can't deny it at this point anyways um, I'm here to give you guys those updates and to keep you filled in and big thanks for everybody on patreon who allows me to do that I can't thank you guys enough and not only on patreon but also on our YouTube channel you can donate to six or ten dollars a month goes a long way in keeping uh, you informed on you know uh, these tropical systems and just these daily weather updates I'm trying something new at the end of these videos so let me know if you like it or not and yeah that's that's the big thing anyways as always thanks for watching guys of course the number one thing is as always Stay safe out there.